I'm gonna show you how to create a lesson in system.io. So in the course area, you're gonna click on add lecture. Then you're gonna give it a name. You're gonna choose one of the templates. I'm just gonna pick one, doesn't really matter. Select template, click on save. I'm gonna delete one of these because I gotta duplicate. Now let's go inside. I'm gonna delete everything that's here. That's usually what I do. Then I'm going to give it a title. List building funnel done for you. I'm going to embed a video. So this is the video from Loom. Copy the embed code. I've got a different tutorial about how to set up video, whether it's embed or anything like that. So I will leave a different tutorial right around here. Check it out. In this case, I'm just going to use uh, Loom to embed, although I'll replace it at some point. And then I'm going to put the text here where I'm going to explain about this lesson, change the alignment. I wanted to give you the resources you need to turn this PDF you just customized into a lead generation strategy with a squeeze page and thank you page done for you and also give you something to upsell people to in case you don't have your own product. Everything is explained in the video below and you will see a button on uh, to click which will import the squeeze page and thank you page into your system IO account. Okay, so that's that. I'm gonna change this section so it is medium. Now, what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna take a picture as well of this, like so. Take a screenshot, click on done, go back to the lesson, put the image like so, select file. This is the screenshot. I'm gonna make this a lot smaller. I'm going to also give it some margins. I'm gonna give it a style and I'll make it so it's gray. I'll do it so it's a hard shadow, like so. This is the squeeze page. Uh, importing into your account. Now, maybe I'll do like so. And I will do a picture of the thank you page as well. And then let's do something like that. Duplicate this, put this here, click on the image, click here, click on select file, grab the next picture. So they can see what they're importing. I'm gonna add another row right around here and I'm going to add a button. Now I'm gonna go here Click on this URL, click on share, click on copy to dashboard, click on editor, my blocks, button, paste this here, paste the shareable link, open in a new window, there's no spacing, click to import the funnel into your account. Okay, make this bigger. video tutorial on how to customize the squeeze page and thank you page. Okay, so that's that. And then I'm going to also include another section. Uh, let me just do one thing here. So I'm gonna move this to a different section like so. Move this under it as well like so. This is good. You'll see why I'm doing it in a second. I'm gonna actually add a menu. List building funnel done for you. Now this will be bonus tutorials on how to customize the lead magnet funnel. Now I'm going to actually delete this video because that's not what people need. I'm gonna add this like so, add this here, add this here. Now the YouTube videos that I need is SEO settings, which is this one. I need also URL path around the time. Let's see how to change the URL path. It's the right one. Eight around here in this 
So grab this with this URL as well. Oops, I deleted the wrong one. YouTube SEO settings. This is an SEO tutorial on system IO. And when you're sharing links on Okay, so that's that. And what are the other tutorials that are, is included here? They need this one, they need this one. Okay, so now that I've added a bunch of videos here, let me tell you, tell them what they are as well. So, how to edit the SEO settings on your squeeze page. How to change the URL path. And be ready to start sharing. How to add confetti to animation to your thank you page. How to send the PLF, uh, PDF, PDF, PLR checklist you just created through email once someone subscribes. How to record a thank you video message. How to connect all the pieces squeeze page, thank you page, email. Okay. In this section, I wanted to share a bunch of tutorials that will teach you the following. Let's see if we can do something like Give it a bit more spacing, like so. Okay, so that's a lesson. So this is a big lesson, as you can see. The last thing I wanted to now do is, oh yeah, I wanted to add the partner program information. In case you wanted to have an affiliate upsell on the thank you page would love for you to join my partner program and see if this aligns with your business so you can earn some passive affiliate commissions you can learn more about my partner program and this section is going to be like so. Okay, so that's that. Now, we're going to add a menu. So the way this is gonna work, make this number two, make this number two, make this number two, and make this number two. Now you will see this lesson information. We're gonna make this smaller, like so, and that's that, okay? You can customize all this. I have a different tutorial on how to customize that. I won't bore you with the details, but I've got a different tutorial on my YouTube channel for that. Okay, so that's that, and people can click and see what they want to see. Let's make this wide. Yeah, that's better. Let's call this lesson content. Click here to import the funnel, how to customize bonus tutorials and customizing and partner program. Okay, perfect. So that is how you create a lesson in system IO from A to Z with a whole bunch of features. As you can see, I try to use as many features as I could in this particular instance, because I really want to show you how versatile the whole thing is. There's so many options. It's just fantastic, honestly. Um, yeah, I love it. And I definitely think you should make use of all these amazing features. All right, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video. I'll leave the, my system mail playlist for you to check out because I do have like whole playlists as well. We have a whole bunch of other tutorials, so you'll see that there's many, many other tutorials. 
and yeah you're welcome to check them out as well for example um you know i was telling you about the table of content feature this tutorial is going to show you how to set that up as an example and there is also a tutorial about the image element and how to upload that so you can check that out there's also another one about the videos how to set up the videos so yeah go ahead and check out and explore what you have here there's a lot of different things and that's about it thanks for watching speak to you soon